Tonight, Syrian Americans are anxiously watching the developments out of Washington. Many still have deep ties to their homeland from here in Indiana. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet with a hope for a peaceful resolution in the already war torn nation. No more war! No more war! The 12 year old girl leading a protest against the threat of U.S. military action in Syria on Saturday is 12 year old Farah Lowley, and she is far from her war torn Syrian home. And with the threat of American airstrikes, she and her family won't return soon. My feeling, I can't explain it because in my heart there's a lot of so many things that wants medicine, but there's no medicine for that. Just want, we, know, we need peace. We don't want war. Farah is Fadwa Abash's niece. They are a large, close-knit family of brothers and sisters, cousins and grandparents, new to Indiana, or as Fadwa, here for 37 years. A widowed mother of three... <laughs> afraid for both of her countries. I am American first, and I'm also, I'm Syrian. That's my home country. But why do we need more bloodshed from both sides? We want peace! On Monday, 200 protesters rallied outside of the White House against military action in Syria as a response to President Bashar Assad's alleged use of chemical weapons in the nation's bloody civil war. While polls show there is little interest among war-weary Americans to get involved in another conflict, for Syrians in America, that prospect is painful and personal. Syria is our country. Syria is my country. Syria. Syria, Syria needs peace. A nation gripped by violence with the threat of military attacks by the U.S. in what could be just days. Chris Prophet, RTV6. President Obama will address the nation on Syria tomorrow night at 9. Stay with RTV6 and ABC News for complete coverage of the president's remarks.